morphing rhythms, just something unique to say. Let's dance. Today we are here in uh, this church, the Tuomo in San Sepolcro, and I wanted to show you this Christ right there. Is a superstore, of course, right? A uh, big debate is what you call a Saint Volto, the Saint Volto right here. Uh, really debatable, it could be from the 8th, 10th, 11th century, we're not so sure. What is important is an art Syrian, because the Syrian influence here is quite obvious. So something you might have uh, noticed absolutely immediately when you look at such a piece. And what you notice, obviously, is the fact that the Christ is uh, fully dressed, right? Fully dressed, which is quite uh, unusual. Why? Because the Greeks, they were comfortable with nudity. The Thurian, on the contrary, so Christian of the Oyo, not Christian of the Occident, were very uncomfortable with the nudity of the Christ. And that's why they uh, decided very quickly to come with this kind of a uh, Christ that addresses another one in Luke that is pretty famous. I'm going to put an example right here so you can compare both pieces. No, they're not closing yet, so we have a little bit of time, right? Um, I personally didn't get so much emotion when I see it for the first time, but then I just came back and I realized the second time I'm looking at it, there's really something uh, happening in uh, this one. I think it might be the head probably that is really really giving a lot of emotion uh, to me on this one two bearded fellow for the price of one i can't put so much light obviously because i'm in a church and i'm trying to preserve the art pieces as much as possible do not use slashes in churches if you can uh, please right uh, this reminds me of two stories. The first one when I often went to jail in Abu Dhabi for getting out of a gym, the shower of my gym, naked, which is condemned by three years of jail. There were some very kind, nice dudes from Abu Dhabi that explained me that without putting me to jail. I really appreciate that, guys. <laughs> by the way, if you have ever watching that video uh, one day. Number two, uh, this makes me think that the evolution of the Christ. A uh, few questions I have on the Christ, which are number one, why is a Christ not circumcised? That's another aesthetic choice. And number two, what is most of the Christ we used to? I'm putting an example right here somewhere. It's a mostly, we put it what we call the perisonium. You have to know that clearly if the Christ was crucified by nail, which is almost impossible nowadays, we know it was probably on a cross this way, shaped as a nix, and we know they did not nail him to the cross. Why? Because if they would have nailed him, he would have died instantly by tying him to the cross or to a piece of wood. He would have died slowly, making an example to scare the others, like the police is doing nowadays in France with the gilet jaune by taking the eyes of uh, people, of course, right? That's why uh, probably Jesus was first shaved, beard, and hair, because the hair and the beard is a sign of a wiseness, which can't be uh, put together. And finally, nudity was another way to insult those uh, uh, people condemned to death penalty, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if whatever you do, if you're not doing it with a smile, well, you might be doing it wrong. I'll put all this in my next book. So you guys take care.